Welcome to How to Solve Poverty. Today's questions, what is diversifying the economy? How can it be a solution to poverty? To find out, let's dive into today's lesson. Explain succinctly what diversifying the economy is from first principles. Diversifying the economy refers to the process of reducing dependence on a single industry or sector and expanding the range of economic activities within a country or region. It involves developing multiple industries and sectors, thereby creating a more balanced and resilient economy that can withstand shocks and fluctuations in specific sectors. Why does diversifying the economy help to solve poverty? By developing multiple industries, diversification generates more job opportunities across various sectors. This can lead to reduced unemployment rates and increased incomes, lifting people out of poverty. Diversification can lead to a more equitable distribution of income. As different sectors grow, wealth is spread more evenly, benefiting a broader segment of the population. Relying heavily on a single industry can make an economy vulnerable to external shocks. Diversification reduces this vulnerability by distributing risks across multiple sectors mitigating the impact of any single sector's downturn on the overall economy. Steel may on the other side. Why would diversifying the economy not work to solve poverty? Some regions may lack the necessary resources, infrastructure, or skilled labor to support diversification into certain industries. The cost of transitioning to new sectors could outweigh the potential benefits. Diversification may lead to increased competition among industries potentially causing some sectors to struggle or contract, resulting in job losses and negatively affecting specific communities. Implementing diversification policies requires strong governance, sound economic planning, and effective policies. Political instability or weak institutions could hinder the successful execution of diversification efforts. Who benefits most by implementing diversification of the economy as a solution? government and policymakers. Diversification can lead to increased tax revenues, reduced fiscal deficits, and a more stable economy, allowing governments to invest in poverty alleviation programs. Investors and businesses. A diversified economy can attract foreign investment and business expansion, stimulating economic activity, and generating more opportunities for profit. Who is harmed most by implementing diversification of the economy as a solution? Incumbent industries. Established industries heavily reliant on government support or protection may face challenges when faced with new competition from emerging sectors. Short-term gains via long-term goals. Diversification efforts might require sacrifices in the short term, which could be perceived as harmful to those who face immediate disruptions. How does diversifying the economy work as a solution to poverty? The process of diversifying the economy involves several steps. Assessment and planning. Identify existing industries, strengths, and weaknesses of the economy. Conduct research to determine the most promising sectors for diversification based on available resources and market opportunities. Investment in infrastructure. To support new industries, Invest in infrastructure such as transportation, communication networks, and energy supply. Education and workforce development. Provide training and education to develop a skilled workforce that can support the growth of new industries. Promotion of entrepreneurship. Encourage entrepreneurship and create an environment that fosters innovation and business startups. Removal of barriers streamline regulations and reduce bureaucratic obstacles to facilitate the growth of new industries. Investment incentives. Offer incentives and support to attract domestic and foreign investment in target sectors. What is the real-life example of this solution being implemented? One real-life example of diversifying the economy is the United Arab Emirates UAE. Historically dependent on oil revenues, the UE has been actively working to diversify its economy through initiatives such as the UE Vision 2021. The country has invested in sectors like tourism, finance, real estate, and renewable energy, aiming to reduce reliance on oil and create a more sustainable and diversified economy. For diversifying the economy as the solution to work, what innovation or policy needs to be created? 
Economic Incentives Implement targeted economic incentives and tax breaks to attract investment and encourage the growth of new industries. Education and Training Programs Develop education and training programs that align with the needs of emerging industries, ensuring a skilled and adaptable workforce. Support for small and medium-sized enterprises SMEs. SMEs are often engines of diversification. Implement policies that ease the regulatory burden and provide financial support to SMEs. Right now, you are speaking to passionate students who want to solve problems like these. What top three skills should they study in order to do so? Economic analysis and policy development. Understand economic theories, trends, and policies to develop strategies for diversification and poverty alleviation. Data analysis and research. Strong analytical skills are essential for conducting economic research and assessing potential sectors for diversification. Leadership and communication. Effectively communicate ideas, build partnerships, and lead initiatives to drive economic diversification and poverty reduction efforts. Thank you so much for your time and attention. If you want to learn the skills to solve this global challenge, join us for free at Plato.University for exclusive content, extra resources, and actionable exercises with every lesson.